Hi, I'm Blue Wilding, OEM manager for Seymour Duncan. One of the coolest aspects of my job is I get to help the world's best guitar brands choose which Duncans they're gonna use. To me, growing up on boundary pushing players like Steve Vai and Joe Satch, Ibanez was always the brand that much like those artists were not afraid to push the limits to make that what if idea possible and do it with the utmost quality and a killer unique style. At NAMM 2016, I stood in Ibanez's booth completely in awe not just the booth and the guitars themselves, but how well they cater to each type of player with very specific designs, as well as multi-purpose designs for the guys that need to cover a lot of ground on a gig with only one guitar. I remember thinking, wow, I'd really love to do a project like that with these guys. And right after the show, the phone rang. I couldn't believe it. It was the product manager from Ibanez who said they'd like to come to our factory to discuss just that. We were so excited. When we met, we were amazed by their idea. They'd identified a certain type of player that we were also noticing out there. A modern, multifaceted player whose style runs the gamut from clean to super high gain, all the while demanding an extremely responsive, articulate, yet organic sound that also maintains great clarity even during like, really complex chording with extreme gain. A player's player, if you will. We gave MJ the very hard task of achieving even higher levels of all these things for this project. A request that might intimidate even some of the most experienced pickup designers. But MJ just smiled like a kid at Christmas and set out on the challenge. Hello, my name is MJ here at the Seymour Duncan Custom Shop. I am Seymour W. Duncan's right hand woman. And for a while I've been asking Ivanis to go ahead and let me in on a special project with them. You know, when I heard about the AC program, then I thought, this is it. When I am making a guitar pickup, either for a guitar manufacturer or for an artist, it's always excitement because I put my heart and soul in whatever I do, and I try to do it to try to make the less prototypes as possible. I knew this one had high standards because of the high expectations, but I knew I could hit one out of the park. The challenge is even more when you want to go ahead and match your bridge pickup with a neck and middle single coils. You don't want to overpower your neck and middle pickups, so you need to do a nice calibrated set. They send us very good notes on the first prototype we send them. We made two more prototypes, and one of them was the magic one. I am happy that we hit the mark for them but even happier that the guitar is making so many players happy. We made some really juicy single coils that really bring out the thick woodiness and the tone of the guitar. And we wanted the humbucker to echo that strong warmth of tone, yet still have the ability to shift into screaming brutal territory without the whole thing falling apart and getting smeary, which is typically hard to do with a two-point floating tremolo where there's often little bridge to body contact. But this guitar is so well built that wasn't an issue that we had to compensate for with the pickups this time. Nowadays, with so many choices and such a competitive landscape in the guitar market, it's extremely rare to see a new guitar come out now that really sets itself apart from the pack in a way that actually means something to players that are still looking for higher performance and detailed sound from the guitar. Working with Ivanez so closely really gave us a clear understanding of their passion, their philosophy and their dedication to delivering repeatable excellence in every single one of these AZ guitars. And that shared dedication inspires us to ensure we continue to match those standards in every single Hyperion pickup we wind for them. We're extremely proud to have been asked to join Ibanez on the journey of this incredible guitar series.